Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video is a special request from one of my subscribers, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. She wanted me to do a uh, a cancer ribbon swipe, uh, specifically for multiple my myeloma. And the color for that ribbon is burgundy. So I've got a color palette uh, put together that will hopefully represent it pretty well. I. I didn't want to just do burgundy on top of burgundy on top of burgundy, so I've added a, 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 a couple, couple complementary colors, but I wanted the burgundy to showcase through, and it will be abstract because that's just how I roll, but uh, I hope I do it justice for you, Sonia, so let's go get started uh, with this swipe. All right, for this piece we're doing today, I've got an 11 by 14 a standard canvas, and I'm going to run through the colors really quick, the cell activator. And then the pillow, we're gonna do a palette knife swipe and I wanna go this way with it. The first color I've got, I've got a mixture. I have uh, Paraj Posse, Victoria's Muscadine Wine, and it's a, like a burgundy red color. But I wanted it, when I mixed it up, it was a, a little bit too light for me. I, so I added just a couple squirts of the burgundy Joe Sonia just to darken it a little and this is what I got here this is mixed with my Valspar Varathane pouring medium and then my next color is antique copper metallic another Paraj Posse this is also mixed up with my Valspar Varathane and there's the consistency of that uh, I'm going to use just a little bit of this color, the Black Umber Joe Sonia, just for contrast. I'm only got a little bit left, but that's the consistency there. This is also my uh, Valspar Varathane pouring medium mix. And then I've got this little piggy Syrah. I only have a little sample pouch of it. It's kind of like a... Oh show you it's kind of like a a purple with a burgundy undertone I mean it's really pretty this is mixed with my uh, Dutch boy Joe Sonia and the cell activators I haven't decided how many I'm gonna use <laughs> I've got three mixed up and I'm gonna show you all of them the first one is I've actually and I'm using Australian Floetrol for all three of them so the first one I've mixed up and it's new to me I've never used it so we're going to see how it works. I've got the PBO Studio Acrylics, the Iridescent Precious Gold. And I have this mixed up. I mean, it turns out really nice. This is mixed. I have it mixed four to one, and it seems to be okay. I don't know if it's on the thinner side. We're going to find out. But uh, this is mixed four to one with the Australian Floetrol. And then I have my white cell activator, which is the Amsterdam Titanium White, and then the uh, Australian Floetrol, again at four to one. And when I say four to one, I mean four parts of uh, Floetrol, the Australian Floetrol, to one part of your paint. And then I also have my uh, um, Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with my Australian Floetrol cell activator. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them, but I have them here just in case. Now for the pillow, I've got my Glidden Premium in Eggshell today I wanted it just a, I wanted it just a little bit thicker and we'll see what happens so I'm gonna I'm gonna spread this out because we're gonna do a swipe and I don't like to spin too much with them I don't like to lose my composition so I'll spread this out and I'll be right back all right so I want to go this way with it since I'm trying to do you know a cancer ribbon I, I kind of want to I think I want to start it kind of about here and I'm going to swipe this way and then I'm going to swipe this way um, because as we spin it a little it'll kind of expand and I don't want the top to go off so that is my idea <laughs> we're going to see how well it turns out I am going to get the palette knife loaded up and I will show you what it is before we swipe all right, here it is on my palette knife. I have got, I started with the uh, white cell activator, then I just kind of drizzled the gold just a little bit. I've got the burgundy, and then I've got the uh, antique metallic copper. I've got just a little bit of the black umber and just a little of the, uh, the Syrah pigments. So I want to, just 
start right about here. I'm definitely going to have to re-swipe this a little. I might put a little bit in there. My next swipe, I'm going to kind of go that way. All right, same colors, same order, same as the last swipe, basically. And I'm going to come in over here, and I'm going to start right here. And we're going to come down. That did not go as well as planned. I am totally going to have to fix this part here. <laughs> But I really like how these cells are interacting and what's coming up. Let me just. Give that a little help right there. I think I'm going to use a different palette. And I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to kind of come in over here and I'll probably do the same. I kind of like what's going on down here. I just need to fix this up a little bit. And I love how this is filling in up here. It's a little bit thicker at the top, but we're going to go with it. All right. Here's what that looks like. I've omitted the black umber and the Syrah pigment. I just want something a little bit lighter down here. I think we're going to just go right about here. I kind of like how this is curved, but it doesn't connect. I think I'm just going to do something like right here. And then I'll just fill in a little. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this palette knife now. And I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on it. All right, same thing. I've omitted the black umber and the Syrah. And I'm just going to go right here. Just like so. All right, that's actually not bad. I can totally work with this. I am, let's see, I'm gonna bring this. like so. Now we're going to play. I've got the construction of the ribbon that, that I more or less want. Now I kind of want to bring things out just a little. But not over the top. I want, I want you to know what it is. like I want to do anything here. I really like what's going on all up in here. I might want to bring these colors out just just a little. better. 
that's better. It's not so harsh. I am really liking how this has turned out. We still have kind of the silhouette or the shape of the ribbon and just all these really cool cells. I want to try and keep the shape and move this up a little. So I'm going to meet you over at the spinner box and we're going to see what comes of this. All right. Here's what we got so far. Before we start spinning it out, I think I want to Send it this way a little. I don't have a lot of paint on here, which is exactly what I want. All right, I'm gonna spin this. Do I got enough clearance? Yes. <laughs> I am just gonna spin slow, just like that, because I just don't want, I don't want the rest to go off there. I want, well, actually, yeah, it's all right if a little bit more goes off. Actually, let's go like that. Actually, I kind of like that. Now that I, whoops, whoa, I'm losing my, my thing there. Okay. down a little with it okay that's a stinking thing I don't want to lose too much more at the bottom either I am really liking how all of this is going but I need to get a little bit more paint off I just kind of want to go over both sides over here as well, just to kind of expand it a little bit more. I don't really want to hook it to the side. I want to come back. Bring it this way just a little, but I don't want this to go off either, so. We're just about there. Now I want to bring it up a little. And just one final, just to get some of the paint moving off this edge here. over just a little because I don't want it going off that edge. There. That's it. Uh, we're good. I am totally ple pleased with this. It, it came out more like a ribbon. Alright, here's what this one looks like. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. Alright, here is the flyover. I just want to get the, the bling in there with that gold and a little bit of that uh, metallic, co antique metallic copper, but I just love how these cells formed. And it, it did go off up here a little bit, but I actually don't mind it. But I just love how that that uh, gold cell activator is the bomb diggity. <laughs> that PBO Precious Gold works really well. Yeah, it sure does. This just turned out so cool. And I think it still represents a ribbon pretty well. It's it's a bit abstract and a bit a little bit more flowy, but I'm totally digging it. I cannot wait to see uh, how it dries. I will be back once it's dried to give you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the piece that we just did. And it it dried beautifully. How you saw it wet is is how it dried. So let me let me back up a little here. As I go bigger and bigger, I'm going to have to back up more and more just to fit it all into frame here. But here it is as a whole before I start moving it around. But it just dried beautifully. And I love how it's abstract, but it still has the, you know, ribbon flow to it. 
I really wanted to keep that for this piece, but let me let me bring it in because it's got some really nice detail and you know in the and the overall color is burgundy, but it does have nice. Uh, complimentary colors in there. I love this gold cell activator. It just really adds a little bit of sparkle in there. And it almost looks like a faceless person here as well. I didn't do that on purpose. It just kind of happened that way, but I'm, I'm going with it. But overall, I love just these little, these little cells that just I love everything about this piece, actually. <laughs> it couldn't have gone any better. So there's that piece. Sonia, I hope I did this ribbon justice for you. Thank you so much for requesting it. I really had a lot of fun putting it together for you. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear all your thoughts on this piece. Um, with that, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.